Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. I was out in the delivery bay, and I've got to tell you, Polycraft. This is a trophy, trophy Polycraft 595 centre console. The owner's had a lot of Polycraft. He's actually from Sydney. He come to us because we're just experts at Poly. No one sells anything like what we do. Our guys just know Poly. And this bloke, had a lot of ideas that he wanted to do. You know, so, at the front, and have a good look at that bow because these things ride fantastic, they're dry now. They're very dry, they're soft. We've spoken about how the plastic doesn't make the same noise in a boat, and people with polycraft catch more fish because of the banging in the water. Now, it's got 112 pound Altera self-deploy Minn Kota that's off the front. You can't see it, but just pretend because we're gonna look at it because we've gone and put lithium batteries in it. And the whole thing with lithium batteries is the weight. You know, you get one lithium battery takes the place of three big batteries. Now have a look at the side because it's got that awesome oceanic trailer that's all made out of box, you know, C-section, strong, you know, and you'll notice that Polycrafts are supported by the center keel and you can see that shape of the boat. Geez, these polycrafts have really come along and they are a serious, serious, serious contender now. Now, have a look. We've put a 175 maximum horsepower on it. 175 Yamaha and Dan will put the specs up on it. You know, they're on the same platform as their 200. It's an awesome beast of a motor. This thing is gonna fly. We've had it in the water and uh, gee, rides great, good boat. Now let's have a look, because there's a lot of things on here that, well, you don't need, but gee, I'd love to have this. Let's go inside, Dan. Have a look at the back. That's just the cushion for the seat. Nice, moulded, comfortable rear seat. The rear seat just folds up. It's got legs that come down to hold it up, you know, and that's the rear mount. You can see at the back here, you've got a couple of house batteries. Now. What we've got is, we've got lithium batteries at the front. A lithium battery. Show that lithium battery there, how we've wired it up. There's a lithium charger off to the side on the left hand side. You just plug it on, plug it in when you get home and charge that battery up. Now, we don't use lithium batteries on outboards. And the reason why we don't put, we don't recommend it, you can do a, a DC charger and all of this stuff, but please don't do it unless you get to really big horsepowers. And the reason why we don't is our boards don't have alternators. They have this rectifier thing and they make it and it, they just don't work. If you've got a lithium, they just keep pumping out as many volts as it can and, and they can burn out all sorts of stuff. So no outboard recommends you to use a lithium on an outboard. So you can see there's two deep cycle batteries at the back. Then under here, you've got the kill tank and it's not a bad size. And you know, so you chuck some fish and unlike aluminium boats that I, I, I call them a stock pot, you get an aluminium boat, you chuck some fish in there and you know, 20 minutes later, they're all cooked. But in a plastic boat, uh, they just sit there. You can put ice in there, it'll work like an esky. Bleed your fish and then I put them into an esky and, and the esky I'd put them into is under the seat here. So I'll drop that rear seat. And this thing here, oh, drop, the, drop Dan's camera, microphone. Now, what that is, it goes across the back of the boat goes across the back of the boat, and it's so you can have an engine support on it. But that comes with oceanic trailers, just so you know, and it pins in, a couple of pins. Now, have a look here. I love back to front boats with seats. Sit here, watching your rods, someone's standing there, you know, fishing, wonderful, just flips over, and you're sitting at this big console, glove box, Plenty of room under here where we've put the lithium battery and the charges. And it's gonna, nice Yamaha gauge here. Yeah, geez, our controls are just a beautiful, beautiful thing. You know, separate key switch, VHF radio. Gone for a Solix 15. Now, Hummingbird, if you go to America, Hummingbird's the top of the tree. Very expensive set in America. 
and they do some awesome stuff. And Solix, Solix is a, one of the best. I've done a YouTube on them. Big sounder, and it talks to the Min Coda. So what can happen there? You can, you can, it'll memorize tracks you want to go on. They link on, so you can go to an impoundment or you're out on a reef and you want to have a consistent trawl with your Min Coda, the same place, it'll just drive itself. Wonderful, wonderful feature that nothing else does, only Hummingbird and Min Coda link together. Now, one of the things you'll notice is this T-top. Now, it doesn't come from the factory, we fitted it. The owner specifically wanted a T-top over, over it, you know, and why would you want that? Well, you can walk around, true walk around, plenty of things to hold on to, huge casting deck at the front. You know, these are a big volume boat. And you can imagine up the front here, you could be fly fishing or you could be jigging, take the kids, you could do impoundments. But this, the guy that's bought this is out in Sydney and he chases billies and, you know, he's out in the deep blue, chasing game fish, jigging and trawling around. And this boat really, really ticks all the boxes. You know, down in Sydney, there's a, there's a heap of higher boats that are polycraft. And so we get a lot of demand from Sydney and there's no worries. If you want to talk to a crew that know about polycraft, I'll tell you, you ring one of my salesmen, they'll know everything you've ever thought of, every question, everything about it. And I've got by far the most amount of polycrafts on order. So if someone rings up and goes, oh, I can't get one for a year. Well, I bet you can here. You'll get it well before then. Now, storage underneath at the front, you know, three compartments. You're not gonna get a huge amount in them, but you put some safety gear, flares, gear, fishing gear, you know, you're always taking more stuff. That one there, I'd, you know, you'd fill that with tackle. You can see the details are cleaner because this is going out very shortly. Lots of room, very comfortable to sit here. You know, you can imagine you're sitting up here, you can put a heap of people in this boat and this T-top, unlike a lot, it's pretty solid, very solid in fact. You know, with that console, so you're gonna get some great protection. You know, and this boat, we're talking about people, eight people. It's a six metre boat that you can take eight people. I don't think there's any other six metre boat that's above seven, six or seven. Certainly even some bow riders you'd need to get to to get to this. But it's because of the construction, because of the, because of the performance of it and the buoyancy of it and how they rank. Big high sides, Dan can hardly get his feet down there. You know, you're not gonna fall over. If you were there bonging, bottom donging here, you know, you've got lots of bias, good rail here to hold on. I put my granny up here sitting in the back. She likes to go in this back right hand corner. You know, and I just think if you want an offshore fishing boat, you wanna take some mates, you wanna have a great time, don't kill the bank balance. You know what, you should be looking at a polycraft. And don't forget, anything to do with polycraft, you call Brisbane Yamaha. 3888-1727. And I'll guarantee you, we'll have the answers and we've probably got the boat. Hope to see you on the water. Bye.